We're back here with Alicia Crandall. She is here from Missoula Aging Services with their monthly spot on Wake Up Missoula. And this week she's talking about caring companions. Yes, and so you're the volunteer coordinator. What does a volunteer coordinator do? What my role is yeah. at the agency is, um, which I would like to say, Missoula Aging Services is a nonprofit in town. We're located on Stevens Avenue, and we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults as well as those that care for them. So my role is to assist program coordinators mm -hmm. with finding volunteers that can help us meet our mission. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so what are Caring Companions? Sure. Caring Companions work in the respite and homemaker program. Uh, the minimum commitment is twice a month for a few hours each visit. Mm -hmm. And they help um, people stay independent in their homes by providing support like getting to the grocery store, doctor's appointments, sometimes relieving a primary caregiver. And it's also super fun. The role of the companion is also to um, find out what that person is passionate about and go out and make that happen. Cool. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of organizations um, through the Missoula Agent Services that help seniors. So how would this, like, you know, they have senior companion, mm -hmm. um, and then you have a caring companion. Yes. Um, well, how do they differ from one another? Sure. So I'm here to promote for caring companions, which is for people age 21 and over. Volunteers nice. 21 and over can apply. It's a little lighter in that the commitment is just a minimum of twice a month. Mm -hmm. uh, senior companions must be, and we're always looking for senior companions as well, 55 or older. Mm -hmm. They do similar things in the community, and yet they work 15 hours a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so how many clients do you guys serve? Gosh, in the respite and homemaker program, mm -hmm. I, I don't know the exact statistic on that, but I do know that we have about seven caring companion volunteers right now. Each of them has one client. Mm -hmm. I also know we have close to about 30, 25 to 30 people waiting to get matched mm -hmm. to a caring companion. Um, we have uh, men and women on that waiting list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And um, what, what, what kind of personality traits are you looking for in terms of um, a caring companion? Someone like Scott and Noel. <laughs> Someone who yes, <laughs> asks great questions, someone who listens, mm -hmm. someone who is reliable. It can be really heartbreaking for um, a client to get matched and for that person to um, not be able to fulfill that commitment. So our clients know it's a minimum six month commitment and our hope is that it goes longer. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking for people who have their own vehicle, and insurance, a Montana driver's license. Mm -hmm. We do reimburse our my, um, our volunteers at 40 cents a mile. We're looking for team players, good communicators that can um, report back to the caseworker that does the matches. Um, a lot of times volunteers might notice things in the home that um, are really important to to pay attention to, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, Missoula Aging Services then can step in to provide mm -hmm. other services. And so yeah. what's the interview process like for when mm -hmm. you're finding people for care? Yeah, clients? that's a great question. So in order uh, to get that, that process started, someone would get the application, complete it. Mm -hmm. uh, I give a call. We set up a mutually agreed upon time. We have about an hour that we meet. Um, I like to get a feel for people. Sometimes in the interview process, we discover there might be a better program mm. um, that's a better fit that lights up their eyes a little more. Mm -hmm. um, so we just talk, get to know one another. We do a criminal and sex offender background check. Um, Naturally. Yes. Yeah. So there's a little bit of paperwork. We also provide orientation for our volunteers. We give them information about what our organization does. We look at all of our volunteers as ambassadors. Mm -hmm. And this is such a fun volunteer initiative to join. Um, I hear all the time and, and from a lot of our college students that do it, that they miss their grandparents. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a real great time to connect that intergenerational connection. And we also have caring companions, that volunteers that are about the same age too. So it's also, an opportunity to, to have peer support as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, these caring companions are the fun ones. 
Yeah. You come in and get to laugh and go out and have fun. It is. That's really it wonderful. Is. These services that you guys do for Missoula, um, I know I definitely appreciate it and I think they're great for the community. Thank you, Noel. And where, yeah. pe and where can people get more information and how can people volunteer? Sure. They can get on our website at um, www.missoulaagingservices.org. Mm -hmm. We also have a Facebook page they can get onto and we have we're also hooked into Twitter. Awesome. Um, they can people can also come into the front desk Monday through Friday. We're located at three three seven Stevens Avenue behind the food farm, mm -hmm. and we have volunteer inquiry packets. Or they can call me. Nice. And my name is Alicia. The phone number is four zero six seven two eight seven six eight two. Nice, mm -hmm. awesome. Is there anything else that you want to tell us before we let you go? Um, just to reiterate again, we have about 25 to 30 people waiting to get matched. And I invite anyone, even if um, they're not sure, just to call and we can talk it through mm -hmm. and, and see if it's a good fit. Yeah, awesome. Well, yeah. thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back after this, everyone. <laughs>